Welcome to Decision 2012 and a preview of the upcoming election. I'm Deborah Sawyer. One student captured the brawl using a cell phone video camera. And it all began by an online dating ad placed on Craigslist. The Georgia Department of Driver Services is issuing a warning for teen drivers. The teenage boy was found dead directly behind this fence at this vacant pool. And on this 143rd Memorial Day, we honor our fallen soldiers. Installing seatbelts on school buses may not be the most cost effective way, but with the housing meltdown, the rising cost in fuel prices, along with fading consumer confidence in the economy rebounding. And let's start off with Brazen Phillies in a wild one from Atlanta last night. Coming up, I'll have some tips on how you can significantly reduce your air conditioning bill. Fire investigators determined that it was the car phone charger that ignited the blade. We'll see if Romney can shake those accusations that he's the problem, not the solution. Now for his part, Romney's tactic is to use a Obama's own party against him. We have breaking news to report here out of Rockdale County. Conyers Police Department responded to a 911 call at the Fred's Department Store, which is directly across the street. This is what we have so far. The manager at the Fred's Department Store was shot in the leg by a robbery suspect as he was leaving the store to make a bank deposit. The suspect fled the scene with an undisclosed amount of cash. Law enforcement quickly roped out the area as the suspect was seen exiting out the back door of the laundromat. The manager was rushed to Rockdale Medical Center with non-life-threatening injuries and is expected to make a full recovery. Detectives did give us a description of the robbery suspect. He is described as a black male, about 5 foot 10 inches tall, last seen wearing a Nike sweatshirt and blue jeans. News 13 is on top of this story and we will keep you posted as more details unfold. Deborah Sawyer, News 13. A dangerous man is off the street and it all began by an online dating ad placed on Craigslist. Now the women in this apartment complex are afraid to leave their homes. Alan Jamar McDowell was arrested by DeKalb County Police for raping two women he lured off the popular free internet site Craigslist. According to the DeKalb County Special Victims Unit, McDowell used the open adult networking portion of the site as his bait. He contacted several women and lured them to the Kingston Station apartments off of Memorial Drive in DeKalb County. He was able to gain access to a vacant apartment. This woman is afraid for her safety and asked if we do not show her face. I was going to work that day and it, it was puzzled. I think about it all day knowing that me and my cousin, we stay up here and it's not really safe around here. Authorities say McDowell held the women captive, robbed and sexually assaulted them even telling one of his victims that he was an officer. What makes this man even more dangerous? He raped those women, knowing that he is HIV positive. That's very sad. My condolence goes out to the family. McDowell faces a laundry list of charges, including kidnapping, rape, theft, reckless conduct for knowingly exposing someone to HIV, and impersonating an officer. The Cab County Special Victims Unit wants anyone who may have came in contact with McDowell to please give them a call because they are afraid that there could be more victims out there. Reporting from DeKalb County, Deborah Sawyer, News 13. The county investigators is offering a thousand dollar cash reward for information leading to the arrest of a masked gunman who robbed a Conyers auto parts store. The robbery happened at the Highway 20 location at the time the store was due to close. Take a good look at the surveillance video. The suspect is described as a black male, about 5 foot 7 inches tall, in his mid to late 20s. Last seen wearing a dark hooded sweatshirt, dark pants, and a blue surgical mask. Rockdale County investigators ask that if you have information to please give them a call at 770-278-8000. Now let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Matrone Carr with a look at our five-day forecast. How things looking out there, Matrone? Let's take a look at today's weather. Today's high Six students here at Mill Creek High School have been suspended for a game-related brawl that broke out in the hallway. One student captured the brawl using a cell phone video camera and posted that video on YouTube. Those six students now are facing criminal charges. Chaos screaming, then fists started flying before teachers had a chance to intervene. A fight broke out among a group claiming to be a gang, 2 1. This video was captured using a cell phone video camera and later was posted on the popular internet website YouTube. No one was seriously injured. A tape video message from Mill Creek High School principal Jim Markham hit the school's we website hoping to ease we the fear will among parents make and sure students. That your student is free to pursue a quality, free, and appropriate public education. 
Students say that Mill Creek High School does not have any major gang activity, but admits that everyone was on edge today. Be a fight or something like that. And I talked to the kid that hit him, and uh, you know the kid was pretty upset about it. It was kind of upsetting. If you are going to look like a thug, pretend you are a thug, act like a thug, and be a thug, then we're going to treat you like a thug. We spoke with school administration, and they want parents to rest easy, knowing that they have increased the presence of school security to make sure that an incident like this would never happen again. Reporting live from Houston, Deborah Sawyer, News 13. But with the housing meltdown, the rising cost in fuel prices, along with fading consumer confidence in the economy rebounding, have retailers definitely feeling the heat. According to the International Council for Shopping Centers, retailers saw a significant decline in visitation just within the last six months. Even for consumers who have not directly been affected by the housing woes, concerns about the economy have taken its toll. Michael Namira is an economist for the International Council for Shopping Centers. the economy, Center. higher uh, unemployment, all of that means slower demand for uh, all types of consumer goods. Add to that, furniture and appliance makers are also feeling the pinch as raw material prices continue to climb. They are very affected by it. I mean, steel is the number one uh, co commodity that we use. We also obviously are impacted in oil by a number of factors. One is resins uh, and the second is just fuel costs. But industry watchers caution that as long as the future economic picture seems bleak, consumers may not return to their normal spending habits anytime soon. Deborah Sawyer reporting. The first time in 80 year history Augusta National will have its first female members. Martha Burke of the National Council of Women's Organization urged the club to include women among its members at Augusta National in 2002. And then Virginia Rometty became the first woman CEO of IBM in October of 2011. IBM is a longtime master sponsor and her male predecessors were given membership to the world's most exclusive and secret golf club. But would she? She helped to lead the way, but she isn't the first. It was announced today that former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice and South Carolina financier Dollar Moore have both been invited to join its all-male membership. While the club previously had no female members, women were allowed to play at the club as guests. So that's definitely a major power move for women. Yes, the gender barrier has finally been broken. Yes, indeed. All right, for Susan the Bebe, I am Deborah Sawyer. Thank you for watching WABI News. Good night.